right, welcome everybody to Homestead Heart. And today I am going to be making a pie crust. This pie crust can be used for different recipes, but I'm making this pie crust today specifically for a pot pie. So this video is going to be the pie crust only. Uh, you could tune in for the next video that's going to show how I put my pie, uh, my pot pie together. And so we are going to get started. This is a really simple recipe right here. If you don't have a food processor, you can always use um, just a big bowl with a knife or a pastry cutter. But you will be able to make this, you can make this dough by hand. It's really, really simple. But I'm using my food processor. So what we're going to need today to get started, we're going to start with a cup of flour. Okay. Right into the food processor, it's going. Now this is one cup of flour plus two teaspoons of flour. Okay. One cup plus two. All right, all right, so now I'm gonna just move that around, get it evenly in my little processor. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and add to this butter, one stick of butter, and this butter has to be ice cold, okay? No fancy way of putting it in, just get it in there, all right? I've already cut it up into maybe like one tablespoon pieces, but I'm just getting it in there. I'm not adding it little at a time, but I'm adding it all. Now I'm gonna pulse it, just quick pulses. The consistency we're gonna be looking for is like a little crumbly um, consistency, okay? got my butter in okay all right so now let me show you what this consistency looks like this is one stick of butter and it's nice it's in there look at there it's cute little crumbles that's it all right so now that I've done this in my food processor I'm gonna add this to a bowl now all of these steps you can do in the food processor but I'm gonna do this in the bowl because I like to do it this way okay so I'm gonna take my flour and butter, pour it right into my bowl. Butter is all incorporated. And we're gonna move quick with this because we don't want the butter to get too warm and we're not gonna overwork this either, okay? So now what I have here is one egg. And to that one egg, I am gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm using kosher salt. Half a teaspoon of salt. Uh, see if I can get that in there. And that's it. Right into that. Make sure you beat that egg really, really good. Okay. Now, I am going to pour this right into my batter. Okay. Now, I'm not going to put my hands in this egg. <laughs> I'm gonna take my forks. I got two forks here. I'm just gonna take my forks and fold the flour into the egg like so, okay? Remember, not overworking this. The egg and the butter is gonna make this such a flaky crust, okay? All right, see how I did that? Not a lot of overworking, just a little bit here and there. Okay, I don't even have an apron on. That's how, you, that's how easy this is. And then I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to add about a tablespoon of ice cold water. I was able to borrow three ice cubes <laughs> from my sister. Uh -huh. She's real particular about her ice, so I asked her for three cubes. So I'm going to pour now my one tablespoon of ice cold water. And I'm going to go ahead and toss that a little more. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and get in here with my hands now that the egg has been soaked up. I'm going to get in here with my hands 
And I'm gonna just press this dough into itself, okay? That's it, just gonna press it into itself. I'm not gonna overwork it. Just gonna mash it into itself. And this right here, I'm looking like I might need just about a half a tablespoon of ice cold water, not even a full tablespoon, just a half, okay? I'll sprinkle that around in there. Now I'm gonna press that into itself again. Okay, I'm gonna grab my parchment paper. Move all of this stuff out of the way. Grab my parchment. And I'm gonna turn this out onto the parchment. And you're not going to be working this as if you were making like a, um, a, a loaf of bread or any kind of rolls, okay? So I'm just going to press this into itself. See that? I'm just pressing it into itself. And this recipe only makes one crust. So if you're needing two crusts, then you're going to need to double this recipe, okay? I'm going to turn that over. Press that into itself. Yes. You see how this begins to form a nice little dough ball? You want to keep pressing that in until it's no longer crumbly. In fact, I'm going to add another few sprinkles of water from my hands to this dough. My paper's moving all over the place. Ah, uh, perfect. Look at that. You know, I don't think I'll... If this is parchment paper, by, I mean wax paper. This is not parchment, so that's why it's moving so much. So now I'm going to press this into itself again. Form this into a nice little disc. Okay, awesome. And then I am going to wrap this in some plastic wrap. See that? Ta da! Wrap this into some plastic wrap. This is going to go in the refrigerator for one hour. Okay? Then I will bring you back and show you what that looks like. All right. Flaky, flaky, flaky. All right, let me get the plastic wrap. So, <laughs> making dough, I realized, hey girl, you don't have no plastic wrap. But that's okay. Look at that beautiful little disc right there. Isn't that gorgeous? Let me get closer. Isn't that gorgeous? Perfect, right? Perfect. I don't have plastic wrap, but I found a sandwich bag and that will work just fine. Inside of this little plastic bag, it's going to go in the fridge for one hour. Ta -da! Da -da -da -da. I'm gonna even set a timer for one hour <laughs> because I will forget. All right, start. All right, y'all, so we'll be back in an hour and I'll show you what the crust looks like. And I'm gonna be using that to make my fantastic whiting pot pie. See you shortly.